Oh, what's up, crew? It's Marshall. Come to you guys and girls raw. Bang. With possibly, to date, my um, most important boxing. My, mo my most value to me boxing video. And that means a lot because every single knife I've ever made I don't ha has meant a ton to me personally. Uh, being a hobbyist knife maker, I actually love what I'm doing. I, I take every dollar invested out of this comes out of my pocket. It doesn't come out of yours. I build the knives um, with basically handshakes and, and word of mouth. Uh, I don't. I'll make you pay up front. And uh, every once in a while, it, it, it I get burnt, but you know, you, you take every every negative and you add all the positive that happens from it. This is one of those those fantastic, fantastic blessings, right? Eighty five number eighty five LMK. Uh, if you guys and you girls want to see more in depth with number 85, please go to Instagram down below. There will be a lot of links in this video description. Uh, there'll be um, my friend Paul uh, at uh, Obey the Reaper. His will be down there. For there'll be the St. Baldrick's down there. Um, there'll be uh, uh, Jim Skelton. Uh, his will be down there. Because there's a lot of people involved on this. And let's get into it. And let's talk about the reason why this is so important. You guys know how we roll. This knife is number 85. LMK. CPM D2. A very nice... A high gloss finish, brass pol uh, brass bolsters with carbon fiber, stainless steel quarter inch chamfered and um, flared tubes, quarter inch epoxied and peened um, brass and stainless steel mosaic. That is rounded out with a custom lanyard and custom bead. Custom uh, bead is Lignavite. And uh, just a faint hint of the emeralds are starting to come through from the suntan. That will grow as, as more time and uh, more uh, UV exposure happens to the bead, the greener it will turn. I chose Lignavite. And I had Mr. Gillespie, by the way, is the one who built this bead. You'll see a lot of these still in the uh, step-by-steps uh, done for this bead, along with the whole knife uh, build on Instagram. Uh, a lot of it went into place. It was outstanding. But I chose Lignavite because this knife is going to be auctioned off with the help of Jim Selton. By the way, thank you very much, Jim. On his live, uh, his live show for the St. Baldrick's Fund, the Children of Cancer of the St. Baldrick's uh, Fund. This is the fourth knife that is going to go to help out the cause. And you can see it the, if you go to Instagram, take a look at my friend Paul. Paul Ligna, it's the $500 shave off, uh, and what the St. Baldrick's Fund, of course again, the other side, what the St. Baldrick's Fund does is uh, they, they have a goal every year to um, gain $500, and there's, 
the money goes 100% to the kids. It's 100% tax uh, break for $5 or more. So it's tax deductible for uh, for the donation. Uh, it's an outstanding cause. I said I'd love to get involved. So I made 94 uh, LMK. Uh, and we got a couple outstanding um, and very humble knife makers involved with He the Knives and SRG or SGR. I, I will have their links down below. I'm so sorry. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, SRG knives. I believe it is. I'm sorry, brother, if I if I messed that up. Uh, but I'll have the link down below. And they they got involved in basically if you if you get in with a $500 shave off, all you have to do is donate five dollars or more. And they'll give you a tax number if you're a United States citizen. They'll give you a tax number, and you provide, or, or they'll give you proof of, of donation. You provide a screenshot to Paul Ligna, and it gets you entered into a raffle and a bunch of mini raffles too. I guess there's there's also I'm not I, I've just found out about that today or yesterday. I can't remember which. Um, but anyway, uh, I have other things on my mind. You know, please forgive me. Man, look at that high gloss finish. See how the day is outside. Oh, I hear my kids running around. Beautiful day, very high reflection of the sunlight. There you go. There's the uh, garage door. But anyway, to the point, I got sidetracked. Um, you get a shot to to for those raffles, you know, and how awesome is that with a 100% tax deductible donation? Well, we met our goal. Uh, it usually takes four to five months to reach the $500 goal for, for it. We met it the first month uh, with an outstanding and huge support from the knife community. Huge support from the knife community. I'm just befuddled with how cool everyone is and and just just how much how much coolness that 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 you know we can gather uh, amongst ourselves and our peers of the you know man it's just just astonishing so um i had a build number 85 that I went over the top. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was very plain and simple instructions for myself to keep it simple. Obviously, uh, there's times where I just don't listen. I, I became inspired, and I went the exact opposite of what I was told. And number eighty-five LMK was born. Opposite, opposite end of the spectrum from from simple. And uh, the the person said, "You know, I, it's a it's a beautiful knife. It's just not me. I'm going to be honest. I, I'd rather pass." Outstanding, no problem. I totally understand. I'm, you know, I felt horrible for actually not um, respecting. <laughs> That's what it really came. I felt I felt like I disrespected the man, and, and I still do. I still feel bad about it. Uh, and and um, so what we did instead of you know instead of destroying the knife, my wife and I talked about it. We're going to go ahead and obviously hundred percent of the of the proceeds and the donation. Uh, and the bid is going to be donated to the St. Baldrick's Fund. No profit at all. 100% loss uh, to myself and everyone that was involved on this. Um, all the way from my friends at Tangway Jewelers, Mr. Gillespie, um, at, well, Rusty Rags, which you'll see in a little bit. Everyone, Everyone's coming out of pocket to help get this as huge a value as possible. 
to win in bidder. The reason for it is because it will be a tax deduction. The bid will be made in the bidder's name, direct to the St. Baldrick's Fund. So in essence, you don't want to get this knife as a tax deduction. And you're going to be able to help some, some very, very, very deserving children. Very. I, I can't think of a, of, a, of a... Man, how cool is that? Seriously. Um, you know... Man, you guys and you girls are a part of how awesome this is. Seriously. Without your respect, without your support, I, I have nothing. And I would not be able to give back. And we wouldn't be able to do it. So it's not about me. It's about us. And that's amazing. Amazing. I'm I'm flabbergasted on how cool that is. <laughs> what? It, you know, I, it, I get... I, man, I, I'm very subdued right now. But... There... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I get fired up talking about this big time because I'm passionate about about how cool the gathering of of like-minded people on knives turned out to be. You know, it's I've never experienced so many um, outstanding people in in such a, a tight grouped, uh, you know. Excellent filled peers, you know what I mean. So, uh, you know how I roll. This is this is going to to go to to Jim Skelton. Jim, thank you very much. And Jim, uh, let's let's talk about that for a second. Jim goes, hey, you want me to help you out? I said, what can I do? He goes, I'll eat all the fees, all the charges I have to on my end. I will help you uh, by raffling off the knife, or not raffling, excuse me, by auctioning off the knife. I've never done it before, but it sounds like a great cause. Thank you. I, how cool is that? Man goes out of his way to help out. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, huge respect. So I talked to Jim and I said, you know, I'm going to, I, I, I got to get this as fast as possible. I got to overnight it too. I literally, minutes ago, before I started this, finished the edge. We're going to cut something for the first time on video. I know what I'm doing. Let's get a good shot. I reverted back to my old school ways. And I did a little bit. Uh, oh, I shouldn't say a little bit. I did a ton more by hand than I usually do because it's, it's just that important. Uh, fail. Let's do this. The paper is the last one off the roll. So let's do this one that's just free hanging. That's about as as what do you think? Is that impressive? Of course, as you know, bang. We'll cut some of this up so we can use this for our, our rusty rags. Because even though this is getting overnighted, I'm gonna thoroughly coat it in rusty rags. Also, uh because of the very tight uh, time uh, restriction and, and restraints on the time. Uh, the leather sheath that Mr. Gillespie donated and did for this. Show that off real quick. Hasn't had adequate time to dry. So the leather inside is still moist. So, um, because he wet forms the sheath. So it has very good friction retention. Bang, I love this thing. Hand stitched. I watched them do it. As a matter of fact, I got a lot of documentation uh, via pictures 
uh, some some very quick 15 second videos uh, on Instagram. You guys, check it out. Just go back uh, in my archive and look. Very very impressive sheath. I like it a lot. Um, so that's going with the knife. Uh, huge thank you to Mr. Gillespie. Let's see. I'm going to. What do we got? I don't have my cut test book. I gotta pause it. Oh, uh, there it is. I don't have to pause it. Whew. I will throw this inside of the um, the rusty rags. Uh, as I talked to, to Brother Latham over at Rusty Rags, uh, Ultimate Knife Care Kit, he said, "Look, it, I, I, you know I'm going to throw one in because it's my knife." He said, "I, I appreciate it." If you throw in two extra, so that Jim can can uh, you know give it a shot, try it out, see what he says, and then either give them away to, to his friends or keep it for himself for helping out with this awesome cause. I said I couldn't think of a, a more noble noble act. So Latham said, you know, at least at least do something to give back to him for helping out. I said, I'll stay in Latham, thank you. So. Uh, I'm going to have uh, three kits involved with the knife. One's going to the winner, uh, unless Jim chooses otherwise. Let's get this out of the way. And you know, it's tactile hard time with my uh, hybrid sheep's foot. Technically, sheep's foots, um, you know, aren't supposed to have a pointy uh, edge. That's why it's a hybrid or pointy tip. Seriously, guys and girls, huge respect for everyone involved. I don't care if it's from the smallest um, act of kindness by promoting or sharing, uh, you know, the information, the links via Instagram, via YouTube, Google Plus, via Facebook. I, I greatly at word of mouth, phone calls. I appreciate a text. Thank you all so much for getting involved in this. I really it means a ton to me. Thank you. So what I'm gonna do? Um, throw this. Throw my tactical heart in, and uh, I'll fold this up and throw this in just so that the the uh, the winner of the the knife if they feel like they want to cut touch something immediately as I know a lot of you guys or girls love to do you get to do it uh, if not take the uh, the paper and and uh, discard it as you you feel fit so that's there obviously the other two will be for Jim I'll put a number 85 on the one with the heart but I mean it'll it'll be there simply uh, be the only one with it in there now to the presentation box this is something that my friends Seth and Brian Tangway helped me come up with donated to make this awesome I had to pay for engraving that's it they donated the other time and their effort into this so a huge respect to them also a huge respect to my friend 
Paul over Screen Madness for the birth certificates and the business cards that are coming with it. I will provide a uh, business card for Brian and uh, Seth Tangway that will be in there also for the winner. Um, of course there is a microfiber cloth to wipe down the knife anytime you get fingerprints on there. There is a very uh, very faint um, it's scratches, so they use it on jewelry. Put that in there. Um, and the knife in the presentation case. Hey, hey, kids! I'm doing a, a video. I'm sorry. No worries. Thank you. I love you. Looks something like this. Boss, huh? How awesome is that? So I will uh, probably, um, this is how it looks. What I'll do is I'll wrap the blade up in the, in the fiber cloth and I'll put it in there securely with a little bubble wrap and, um, and, and we'll get it shipped out to, to Jim. Guys, girls, thank you so much. Uh, no joke. I got Blasted by how cool everyone is, and of course, uh, we'll get this. To show you the knife in the sheath. Uh, simple pouch system, but I'm going to wipe this down thoroughly now with some rusty rags. It's not the only, I always ship a knife in a sheath. Uh, this time it's going to be shipped in a presentation box because we have to let this uh, the the moisture uh, count come down a little bit. Okay. Can't believe I said that with a straight face. For now, I'm gonna be blessed. Thank you, seriously, no joke. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't reiterate this enough. You guys and you girls are spectacular and a huge blessing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, so much for your support and your respect. No joke, it means a ton to me. Please check out the links down below in the description. If I don't have them immediately, they will be coming very shortly. Just please check back. Um, if you need any more information whatsoever, please contact me through Instagram. It's the easiest, fastest way for me to get a response because it actually dings on my phone. Um, other than that, thanks. <laughs> no, no joke. I say that. I say that too much sometimes. But I hope your hope your week is excellent. You deserve it. Thank you. For now, be blessed. Oh, I hope I covered everything. Oh man. <laughs>